Hey everyone and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And what I'd like to share with you today is this fabulous PD3200U uh, monitor from BenQ, which uh, I've been using now for a good few weeks and I've got to tell you, it is fabulous. So I'll show you it today here where I'm starting out on a new photo comp just here. So I've got some 3D stuff in there and a few other bits comp together. And I'm working very, very loosely at the moment. And then, of course, I will start to work on the details as I am with the airship. Now I'm doing that here on my Centic because I can rotate around the canvas like so and of course draw directly to the screen as I'm doing just here. But the great thing is, is on the BenQ monitor, I can actually see my work update in real time in this other window. And it's fantastic in just about every regard I can think of. Obviously it's huge, 32 inch monitor, 16 to nine ratio. It's actually got 3,840 pixels across and 2160 up. It supports 10-bit, 100% uh, sRGB color, and it's Technicolor color certified as well. And it has a number of different viewing modes, which you can change and set really easily using this puck. You'll see that if I press the one here, the preset I've got is for sRGB. Well, that's what I'm using already, but you might have seen the small HUD come up in the bottom corner. If I tap two, then it takes me through to CAD CAM mode, which would be brilliant uh, for the times when I'm working in Cinema 4D with After Effects and Photoshop. And then if I go to mode three here, this is actually probably the best mode here uh, for the studio most of the time, although the lights are really bright today, and that's a low light mode where it's got this very, very cool uh, blueness. If I switch back to sRGB, I'll tell you something else that I find really great about this puck as well, is that I calibrate my monitors about every six weeks here, and it's always a real ache to be going down to the bottom of the screen and tapping different buttons through there while you're trying to actually respond uh, to what uh, the uh, software needs. Here though, I can just tap OK in the middle and instantly I'm in to the screen controls here and then I can just navigate through them using the puck like so and change any of the values I might need to change there as well. I'm just gonna come back out of that by pressing the back arrow just so you see it's really simple for me to do that I absolutely love it if you're on Windows as an added benefit as well it supports some extra things in terms of a dual view function so you can actually split the screen uh, and a KVM switch so you can actually connect two computers to this monitor and then toggle between the two computers which is a great way to save some space on your desktop if you're using more than one machine. It supports a range of inputs. So at the moment I'm using DisplayPort 1.2 on the back here, uh, but it supports HDMI 2 as well. It supports mini DisplayPort uh, and USB 3 as well on the back. There's several ports on there, so plenty of room for adding uh, peripherals. It is a fabulous piece of kit and I love that you can just elevate it so easy and on the stand just rotate it with ease because quite often I'm not in this arrangement here. I quite often raise this right up, bring the Cintiq underneath it and then I can just work at the same angle. But I like the idea here of just having this around like so so I can work away uh, like this, doing all of my masking here and then just sit and glance back at this and just see how that's working out and note the areas there that I need to pay more attention to. And working in Lightroom is even more awesome. Of course, I can take advantage of those fab different view modes here 
for my different lighting conditions that I'm working in. But what I really want to show you is, apart from the fact that the color is amazing, is this. If you're working on an image that's portrait and you actually want to view it with the fullness of the monitor, this fab piece of kit actually makes that really easy. I'm just gonna swing this out slightly and then extend it. And you can see now really easily that just flicks around and I can see that in portrait mode. Absolutely brilliant. The same awesome experience that you get inside of Photoshop as well. And there's a significant other advantage for photographers using uh, Lightroom here. And that's that it has a built-in SD card slot just down here. So you don't even need to go to the computer to do that. You can literally just pop it into the side of the monitor and there you go.